everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to another episode of Insufficient Friends. I'm Kevin. She's Stevie. Hi. And uh, Steve? Yes. Christmas. It's Christmas, Christmas time. <laughs> it's a busy time for me. I, will, I won't lie. It, it doesn't quite feel like Christmas. It doesn't feel like Christmas? No. I okay. wish it did, but sometimes things happen. Yeah. And this, this won't be the case next year. So. Okay. Well, that's, that's good, yeah. at least. Um, yeah, I mean, stuff stuff always comes up. Yeah, um, my, I would like to just tell the story of like this past week okay. in my life. Because yeah. it's just, you just have to laugh about it, you know? Well, if you, yeah, because the only other thing you can do is cry yeah. usually, so. and I've already done that, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what happened? So, we all know I'm moving, mm-hmm. I'm in the process of moving. Yeah. Everything's been going somewhat fine. Yeah. But it's moving can be costly. Yes. Um. So we had to pay a security deposit. Yes. On our apartment, mm-hmm. and then, so that was a that was a lot, you know, and then. I found out last week, or beginning of this week actually, my tags were expired, like very so, almost a year. On your car. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. And the only way I really keep track is that of that is when I get pulled over and someone says, hey, you have to get new tags. I'm like, great, I'll go do that. Did you get pulled over? No. Oh, okay. Someone like literally told me, my boyfriend's dad saw it and was like, did you know these are like okay. almost a year expired? And I said, no, I don't pay attention. <laughs> um, so now I know, okay, every February I need to like figure that out. So... And you know how you can pay for like two years? Mm-hmm. I did that, but I basically am just getting one because... They were because already they were so almost expired. a year yeah. expired, so that's fun. So that's a cost. That, that's not a huge cost, but it's a it's cost money. that yeah. I didn't plan. It's I didn't still budget. money, especially when you're trying to um, uh, move get other, and, move other, yeah, move and pay get other for up, yeah. so many things. So okay, great. Figure that out, and then I call my dad because any minor inconvenience with a vehicle means I call my dad, and he was like, "You know, this is a good time. Also, don't forget." Pay your personal property tax. Yeah, because that is due on the thirty first. <laughs> now the th- the l- which yes, you do get charged more late if fees. you late fees if you go after. But you can. But wait. it's very like usually it's not a lot of money. So the last fees year, but I paid about a month late, uh-huh. and I think it I probably paid an extra twenty bucks. Yeah, which, but right now I just really I don't even want to do that. I yeah. didn't even want to pay it online because it was going to charge me more $10 oh, yeah. to like use a card versus. I get that. Yeah. So, um, and I, I kind of remembered the amount, but I was like, no way I'm going to have to pay this full. I'm just going to tell y'all cause I trust y'all like that. $460. Yeah. The newer your car is the, the usually the more it is. Yeah. <sighs> on top of everything I have to pay for. And we have to mm-hmm. pay rent on the first of the month. And mm-hmm. we're about to go to Disney. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have to pay. I mean, most mm-hmm. of that is paid for. But just yeah. like food and things. So Yeah, and food can food can be very expensive <sighs> yes. just in general. As and you had whatever, infamously had like a $600 meal at yeah, Disney, which we won't you, be doing. Whatever you want. Yeah, food can be expensive. <sighs> Anything you want to buy, like souvenirs, can be expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, can all, mm-hmm. it all adds up. I get it. So all this is happening. And then I... Called my apartment complex, the one that we live in, mm-hmm. um, and I said, you know, also keep in mind, just a little backstory, I was getting, like, m- two or three months ago, we started getting, like, letters and emails about renewing our lease, because mm-hmm. it was coming due, and yeah. I called, and I said, we don't want to renew, is there anything else I need to do right now? And they said, nope, don't worry about it, we got another email, I called again, asked the same question, and they said, this is just an automated email we sent out, you, you're yeah. good. So I'm thinking, great, I'm good. I told them I wasn't going to renew. That should be it. So I call and I ask, like, a week, like a uh, Wednesday. It's Saturday. And I say, hey, we're moving out soon. Um, what do I, when, when do I turn on my keys? What all do we need to do? You know, yeah. how do I set up an inspection? Whatever. And they were like, oh, you didn't give us 30-day notice. And I said, well... I kind of did. I told you I wasn't going to renew, yeah. That should be the notice. And they didn't do this because I argued with them, but they were going to charge me another month's rent. Yeah. Plus $150. For breaking whatever, even though you don't have a lease anymore? 
That's ridiculous. I that's that's because yeah. I did not give them a notice. Because when I asked and said, what do I need to do? They said nothing. So, and I told them that. And I think eventually we kind of went back and forth. And they were like, okay, we won't charge you. Great. Thank you. They say, come in whenever you can and sign some of these papers. And mm-hmm. I said, okay. And I'm thinking, because every other lease I've ever had in my life ends at the end of the month, that I have until the 31st to move out. And so me and my dad were kind of already had this all figured out. He was going to come help me move on New Year's Eve. We're going to get a U-Haul, bring it up to St. Louis on the 1st. Mm -hmm. So we'd only have to pay for it for two days and everything was going to work out just fine. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) That didn't happen. (laughs) So I get there. Anyway. It's okay. And I'm signing the papers and I look at the paper and it says we have to be out by 4 p.m. on the 28th, which is just a Thursday. Very inconvenient. So I start panicking a little and i'm like can we pay like a prorated amount and just extend it those few days to the end of the month and they were like no you'd have to pay an entire month's rent (laughs) it's just a joke so i'm like okay um like can i ask like has this always been the case and they just said because i don't even remember what they said but basically our lease has yeah there was never a time where it didn't end on the 28th of the month which i guess that's my bad i did i should have paid attention to that whatever mm. i didn't want to fight them because that already... is a weird thing though because if you're if you're paying for the month then why don't i get the month and like un- unless it's a leap year what month only has 28 days well it even if it does it doesn't matter like you should get to like, the end of the month if you paid for the month right and like so I, because at first I was like, wait, did I start it on a month that only had 28 days? And I was like, that's impossible. No, because, right? I mean, you could have started like in February, I, but February has 28 days. Right. But I, I just know but, we started it in, in the summertime. And I was like, maybe yeah. we started it and there was only, 20, whatever. Anyway, I, that didn't happen. That wasn't the case. They just ended it on the 28th. But that just seems so inconvenient. Like, if someone doesn't have a place to stay and their new lease doesn't start till the 1st, like, oh, most yeah. but, leases... But most renters don't. Like, they don't... They don't care. They don't care. Like, it's... It's it's obnoxious, but they don't... They don't care. Yeah. So, I'm dealing with all and that. And it's not just our place. It's all of them. Oh, yeah. Well... Because I've heard <clears throat> other stories from other people totally. that are like, oh, yeah, well, this lease ends this day, but... I have a week till I can move into my other place, so I just have to live in an apartment yes. or a or a hotel for a week with my crap in a in a in a truck. I have so, heard that before too, which is just, just ridiculous. It's just amazing. Um, and I I will say this is the first apartment complex I've lived in. I've only lived in like places I'm renting from a landlord, mm-hmm. and they are just so much more flexible. Well, yeah, because they only own the one place. Right. Yeah. Well, or just they own a few, but they get to make the rules because yeah. they're just one person. And usually you have, a, like, a better relationship with them. And yeah. Anyway. So yeah, this place, you don't have a relationship with anybody because no. it's owned by a massive corporation. Yes. They've got, like, 40 of these across don't care about several states. They don't any of anyone, which is fine. It is what it is. I chose to live here knowing that. But anyway, so speaking of landlords, I – have been in contact. I haven't met my landlord, but I've been in contact with him. And he seems very nice. And he is letting us move our stuff in early. Well, that's good. So, I only am really... Because I have to... I'm moving out on the 27th. They have to do an inspection on the 28th. I can't turn my keys in until after the inspection for whatever reason. I have to stay... I'm staying with a friend the night of the Mm. 27th. And then from after that, I'll probably go to St. Louis and stay there. So, yeah. it's all working out. It's going to be good. fine. It's going to be fine. And I, we have to pay for U-Haul for four days instead of two days. But, that's what it is. Yeah. So, all this is happening. Yeah. And I just thought, this would be such a convenient time for, like, my car to break down. Like, if that happened, I would truly, I wouldn't be here. I would, it would have yeah. been over. But I couldn't take it, you know? <laughs> That just would have been the nail in the coffin for me if, like, I had to found out. Because that's just, like, that's when car stuff happens for me. It's yeah. just when it's the most inconvenient time in the world. And I'm already, I mean, I'm, like, broke for whatever reason. Like, I just had to pay for something. And now I have to, like, buy $500 worth of stuff for my car because yeah. whatever happened to it. I think that's just how it happens for everybody. That's exactly. How, that's how it feels like it happens for everybody. Right. Like, and you just can't because break. Because it, it's just, yeah, it just seems like. Life kind of kicks you in the butt sometimes. Totally. So I was fully expecting this whole week. Like, anytime I got in my car, I was like, I'm going to get hit. 
Like every day, I just thought something's going to happen. It I get, didn't. I get that feeling sometimes when I'm like out and doing things, and I'm like, you know, now would be a really bad. Like, not that ever any time is a good time to yes. get in a crash, but it's just I know like, exactly what you, you mean. know, now would be just a really bad time yeah. to get in a crash. And it's usually times like this time of year when there's more people on the road. There's also crazy, like more stuff going on yes. and p- people being crazier. And I'm like, you know. Now would really be a crappy time to get into a crash or have something like this. So I've yes. I've thought about that too before. Like yes, I know exactly what you mean. Like you just kind of start being like yeah. Not that I wasn't driving safe, but I'm you're driving like hyper, extra safe. You're like now. hyper aware of everything going on like, around. That would you. be yeah. terrible. It's almost like you you take of a you take advantage of realizing that you're not in an accident in that mm-hmm. moment. You're like I'm I'm lucky because someone yeah. out there is, and that sucks. Yeah. So yeah, I totally yeah. get that. Yeah. I get that. That's a. So that's well, my sorry. that's my week. Um, listeners, if you if you if you want to get me a Christmas present, I need money. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I'm just joking, obviously. <laughs> oh man, um, yeah. I'm sorry, Steve. No, that's that okay. Stinks. This is part of life. But and it's almost over, and it's like it's all working out. That's the best. That's the. That's all I care about mm-hmm. is that it's like there's a process in place. We're going to move this day, get in this day, and everything's going to be fine. It's just getting there was tough. Yeah. Oh, and on Thursday, I was setting up my new utilities mm-hmm. with Amron, which with is a the, very... Jeff's, yeah, in, in St. Louis. Louis. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Is, which is a very, like, common um, company. A lot yeah, of it's, a, it's a huge company, yeah. So, and I wasn't, you know... I mean, I'm I can be naive, but I looked into their website and found out who I need to call, mm-hmm. and um, my landlord let me know there might be like a deposit that you have to pay, and he was gonna like pay it, and then we'd pay it back anyway. He was like, "Let me know the balance." So I was already expecting them to be like, "We're gonna charge you this amount mm-hmm. today," and so I'm I look up a number and I call a guy and we're talking and I'm like literally I'm giving him my card info and just working at a bank in the past I'm kind of like is this, are we, this is legit, right? So I like Googled the phone number I was on and it's Amber and like everything's fine. Mm -hmm. And he was even sending me email updates as I was setting up my account with them. Yeah. And I got the app and I could log in and everything seemed fun. Yeah. But the bank immediately calls me as I give him my card and stops it because they think it's fraud. I mean, yeah, I I can kind of get that. Like you're you're moving so you're not that's not a normal purchase it's not and i do understand that yeah that's not a normal purchase mm-hmm. it's it's you know a, it's something in an area you don't live mm-hmm. that you don't ever get stuff right so it's yeah i get that and i but i gave him my i was giving him my debit card yeah and i which don't is another, typically use that yeah which is another too. reason they probably stopped it or looked at it a little closer and i just because they called me and because i was already like in my head almost mm-hmm. about it I said no. I said don't let this go through. Like I, because they texted me, and then I tell the guy, I'm like, can I give you my credit card instead? Yeah. And because I had said no, they locked my credit card. Like my credit card wasn't working. Either. Oh, they locked your it credit card too. It wasn't going through because I think they got the same thing. Realized I had tried it again, and oh, so they okay. said no to that one too. Also, <laughs> this isn't. Um, this is not good to say, but um, I was on my way to get coffee with someone, so I was in the car while this was happening. Um, and so everything's really hard and I'm like, I can't do this right now. I'm driving. Like, this is so difficult. <laughs> um, so I tell him, I'm like, I'm, I'm just gonna have to call you back. And the poor guy, I'm like, is this a scam? <laughs> the, my bank thinks this is a scam. Like, is this real? And obviously a scammer is not going to tell me. He's not going to tell you if it's real or not. Yeah. And he was so confused. And then I, I just felt so bad. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to call you back. And he's like, here's my direct line. And I just didn't listen because I'm driving. I can't write it down or anything. Yeah. So I just like, okay, great. Thank you. And I hang up. <sighs> and then. Oh. I'm parking. I was meeting one of my friends in Jeff City because uh-huh. she was moving. I'm, par- I'm trying to park in downtown Jeff City. I don't have any change. I go into the mobile parking app and my cards aren't working. So I can't pay the meter. And she's like, where are you? And I'm like, ah, I'm freaking, <laughs> there's just so much happening. And oh, I didn't man. have time. So I just said, you know what? If I get a ticket, I get a ticket. Thank you to the universe. Thank you to the higher aboves. I did not get a ticket that day. Well, that's good. Thank goodness. And then I do have a one more. Um, 
I do. I have two credit cards, so I was able to pay for my coffee because I did try my debit card at coffee too, and mm-hmm. that declined. I'm like, oh yeah. So my poor friend that I got coffee with the whole time, I'm just. I can't even like listen to what she's saying because I'm freaking out about everything that's going on. I'm like, did I just get scammed? Like, this can't be happening to me right now. So on my way back to Columbia, I call Amron again and I'm like, here's what happened. Did I like, is my account set up? Am I good? And not only was everything okay, but she said, looks like there was a trouble with the deposit going through. So we did a soft credit check and we just waived the deposit. So now I don't even have to pay a deposit, which is well, great. That's nice. So nice. So that's a plus. Yes. Do we have the applause? Yeah. <laughs> I need some applause. <laughs> yeah, that was like the first <laughs> thing that like looked up in my day. I was like, I don't have to pay. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> How is this real? Oh, that's, well, that's good though. Like That part was good. Yeah. That's good. And like the lady I talked to, she was just more like, she seemed a little bit more knowledgeable and she was like, okay, that makes sense. Like, this is why that happened. Sometimes bank does that because we're under what the, the company that came through on my card didn't say Amarin. It mm-hmm. was like under a different It's under name. something weird. Yeah. So she explained that to me as well. And I just felt so much better. Yeah. Um, but then. Well, yeah, Cause I've seen, um, what's the other one? Good, it's like communication. No, 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 no. I was thinking of another business that does that sometimes. Oh, I'm sure. I feel like I feel like Starbucks has done it before, or Uber, or something like that, because it it's like it comes as a as a since the company's based in Seattle, it comes as like a Uber or DoorDash or something. Hey, this isn't you. We're gonna lock your card because this is Seattle. Why are you doing something in Seattle when you're not there? Yeah, and you're really not there. But Yeah. yeah, it's just it's one of the it's one of the things that comes with, I guess, automating things and yes. having computers decide what, what's going on. Yes, totally. So. And as I'm freaking out, thinking this is a scam, in my head, I'm like, I just, I, because I want this to be so easy, quick, and convenient, I'm just saying yes to whoever. I'm just out here giving my bank information to this guy. But it was legit. Yeah. But it did make me for a second it go. Made you, it made and you I concerned. Really, yeah. Like, have I learned nothing? <laughs> <laughs> oh... Yeah. But. Um. So I think that was the last crazy thing that happened. And then last night I was at two different Christmas mm-hmm. parties, but these were also kind of like an opportunity to like say goodbye to people yeah. since I am leaving. And after the second one, after the first one, I felt fine. I was like, oh, that's kind of sad, but I wasn't quite processing. Mm-hmm. And then we left the second one and... Me and Will got in the car and I just started bawling. And I was just like, I, because it really sets in, like, I'm not trying to be pessimist, but just at this age in life, I already don't see these people that often. And we yeah. live in the same city. When I'm two hours away, like. You're going to see them even less. Yeah. I And and who even knows if I will? And yeah. not to, once again, not to be pessimistic, but just people get busy. And you say, you, everyone always says, oh, you'll, you'll see me around or, oh, I'll come and visit. No, they don't. Yeah. Life happens, it's and they hard just to, yeah. and it's okay. But it was just me realizing all of that at mm-hmm. once, and it was, it was a lot. I was also a I little had been drinking, yeah, but you were a little drunk, yeah. That's, that's... <laughs> Not really, but like that just didn't help. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so, what a uh, fun adventure! Yeah, it sounds like it's you guys it's <laughs> sounds like it's been a crazy week. It has. Mine has been normal. Okay, the same as always. So, I'm, and I'm I'm envious. Yeah, I'm. I'm not envious of your situation, but Don't you know, you're moving on to something else, so that'll be fun. Right. That's true, that's true. Um, it just takes a lot to get there. Yeah. Um, so Yes. Changing just change mm-hmm. switching yeah. gears entirely. Wait, please. Switch <laughs> switching gears entirely. Thank God. Um It's Christmas time. Yeah. Where of course, you know, hats. Um Is there any I was thinking about this the other day, and I've talked about a couple to this with this. About, hmm, hold <laughs> talked on. Talked about this. Too. Talked about this with a couple people. Okay. <laughs> Who? We got words. That. Um, do you have any like? Do you have certain movies at Christmas mm-hmm. time that you have to watch? Like go to Christmas movies that are like, okay, I need to watch this at some point during the holidays. No. But you're also not a movie person. <laughs> No, I that's guess. not true. I guess I am a movie person. Yeah. I just don't. I've never liked. I have a really hard time with, um, like festive movies. Okay. Because I want a movie. Most all the movies that I love are movies that I can watch at any time. Okay. 
And a Christmas movie, it's like Christmas music. You just don't. I can listen to Christmas music most any time. I too. cannot. Yeah, I, I know. Just, I don't like it any other time of the year when it's not Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, I think like having like a Christmas movie on while you're like on Christmas Day, maybe you're opening presents or maybe you're like decorating your house, something like that. I think it's good, but I don't care for any. I don't really like Christmas movies that much. I sound like the Grinch. I actually do love the Grinch. That's probably my favorite one. Okay. The, the Jim Carrey one? Yeah. Okay. Both, but yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. The Grinch is a good one. Mm-hmm. I do like the Grinch. The, the like, live action yes. one. Um, I also always watch The Muppet Christmas Carol. And I've been That's listening right. to the soundtrack that. for that for a while. Yeah. Because I love the music and I love the... The Muppets, because the Muppets are great. I think the Muppets are great. Um, and then I usually watch Elf is another one that that's, I usually watch. That's another good one to like, okay, we'll put it on. Yeah. But it's, I've seen all of these so many times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see them a lot. And yeah, it's not really for me. Especially because you kind of run out of, like, there's only so many big, like, there's a lot of Christmas movies, yes. but there's only so many of the, like, really, like, the what you would consider classics, classics. or good ones yeah. or whatever. So that that and, makes sense. And then it's like we get into Hallmark yeah. movies, and those are very similar to one another. Like yeah, they they're the extremely similar line. to one another. Um, but some people like that. Yeah, and it's, a, it's traditions for some people, but mm-hmm. no, that's not me. That's not really my family. We don't really watch a ton of stuff together anyway. Okay. Like, we've watched Rocky We've watched mm-hmm. It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. Um, but we kind of are just like, we, we're we like a game family. We'll play games. Okay. Do you have any certain holidays. games? Do you what? We get new ones all the time. Okay. A lot of board games. Like my grandparents will go or my dad will like go to Target and get like a new game for us to play like every year. And now okay. we've got just all these that we can choose from. All right. That's fun. Hmm. And then, I mean, we play, we, we can play poker and we will play poker, but that it could take us hours like texas hold'em style it just takes forever because you get back in you get low and someone you know what i mean yeah we play with um chips yeah yeah and i me and my dad like to play song quiz but it's not really fair for my grandparents because they're not as good as us they don't (laughs) they don't know a lot of the as much not even they don't know they'll they'll know the music they're just but they don't know the artist or they're not as quick yeah Yeah. okay yeah that makes sense yeah That's Song Quiz is a fun game. Oh, though. it's my favorite game. And you're extremely competitive, which also <laughs> With that game. With that game, you're extremely competitive. I am. And because most people to be fair, other than like you or my dad, mm-hmm. maybe Will. Will's pretty good. I can beat just about anyone. Yeah. So I obviously I'm gonna wanna play it <laughs> at like a party or something. Oh yeah, I I get that. Um I I guess that's a good that might as well be a... We're talking about movies and stuff anyway, you know. So we kind of... We lied to you last We lied week. to you, yeah. Well, we did, just didn't think about it until afterwards. But we said we were going to watch 2001 A Space Odyssey. We actually watched It's a Wonderful Life because mm-hmm. it's a Christmas movie. And yes, wanted to be in the spirit. Wanted to be... At, at, it it kind of goes with the time of year. So, yeah. um, Steve, what did you think? Oh, I love that movie. I'd say it's one of my favorite movies from that time. Okay. Is it 1930s? Or um, hold on. Uh, it's I know it's old. Yeah. It's one of the only <sighs> black and white movies that I could say is probably 1947. one of my favorites. 1947. That makes mm-hmm. sense. Um, yeah, I love it. It's a feel-good movie. It's a little long. It's See, I, I thought it was a black and white movie. And I, I knew it was a black and yeah. white movie. But when I pulled it up to watch it, it was color. Mm. So I, I think it was redone. Like it oh. was, it was. Well, I would, don't think I'd want to watch it in Updated color. with color. Okay. Um, when I watched it, it was. I black. found it on Amazon. It was, on, it was in color. Hmm. I just clicked whatever. Like I told, you know, my thing. Yeah. Like I want to watch It's a Wonderful Life. And it pulled up places to get it. And the one, when I clicked on it, it just went straight to, to the color one. So That works. Yeah. But um, I had never watched it all the way through. Okay. I had watched part of it and then gotten like, I'd watched into it a little bit and then got bored and just yeah. kind of stopped. But I really liked it. 
Um, it's a very nice story. It's mm-hmm. yeah, and I I really liked it. I yeah. thought it was good. It's a good feel good movie, and I I like the. I don't know how like accurate this is, but I like the the scenes where they're you know the bank like runs out of money, but they make the notes for people. I don't know. It just feels like very um, with the times. Yeah. Because like obviously that would not happen now, but no, <laughs> or at least not so. It wouldn't go the way that it did in the movie. So I I've always liked that part and appreciated that part of the movie too. But yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, it was really good. It um. Was I, but I, yeah, I don't know why in the past I didn't, I kept stopping or what, tried to, just stopped watching it, but it was really good. Um, yeah. It took a lot longer to get to, than I expected to get to, like, where, there's a lot of lead up to, like, the angel and that kind of yes, stuff. Yes, totally. Which I didn't realize was, was the case, which was fine. Mm-hmm. It was, like I said, it was still a good movie. Um, It was a very good movie, but... I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize there was that much lead up and that much backstory over this guy's life, basically, and what was going on, so. Yeah. I know we just said I don't watch, like, Christmas movies uh-huh. traditionally, like, every year, but now I I really want to watch The Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about this really made me, like, I wish we would have watched that. I know it's not on this list, but. Yeah, I like the Grinch. I'll probably watch the Grinch at some point this weekend for sure. Yeah, because it's it's just a fun. It really it's is. It's just a fun and ridiculous movie. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see the new one? The new animated one that no. came out a couple of years ago. No, I didn't see it either. I didn't. I don't know how it did. I'm not really sure. But this is gonna make me sound like a Grinch. I don't know a Grinch or just like a boomer. I don't. Sorry, <laughs> but. I don't I don't need all these new renditions of these like classic films. I okay. Don't, like I don't want the like I haven't seen it, but and I'm sure it's it's fine and I'll probably like it, but the Wonka, I don't know about it with Timothy Chalamet. I thought you wanted to see that. I mean, I want to see it cuz I'm interested, but like do we need it? Do we no, need we don't another need another one. We don't need any of these, you know but they I mean? just they they know that it made the other ones made money, so yeah, they're gonna like, try to make money. I don't need a live action of every single Disney princess movie. I yeah. don't need live action thing to be quite honest, except the Grinch. I do need that, but <laughs> like I think I, how, I guess my question is: Is how do you know until they make it? How do you I know you I'm won't just, like it? It until doesn't you make excite it? me. Okay, yeah, I get that. That's all. So, yeah. no, anything new that they remake from here on out, I'm not that excited about. I don't need a this two. I don't need a movie that's already been done. Yeah. You know? Does that make sense? I know they're like making a new Beetlejuice, which is exciting. And I'll probably see it. I'll probably oh, I'll, I'll definitely like see it. Beetlejuice, yeah. But it's like, what if we just make something new? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know? I, I get that, but they're, it's just, it's, it's, it costs so much to make a movie, and they don't want. Yeah. They're worried about. They're worried about not making money, and I get that to a certain extent. It just sucks for some creative. That's this is stuff. true. Yeah. Like I get the I get the point, but right. it still sucks for like wanting to watch something new and different. Yeah. Um, and there are new ones that come out too, but they're just not. They don't seem to be the big blockbusters that some of the sequels Sometimes. and stuff. I mean, Sometimes Barbie. Yeah, Barbie was a little. Barbie was. Yeah. I just I watched that again for the second time the other yeah. day. That's it's a really good movie. Yeah, it it was nominated for a bunch of Golden Globes. Good. That one and, and Oppenheimer were both nominated for a bunch of Golden Globes a, yeah. a couple weeks ago. But, um, yeah. So next week we'll watch Two Thousand One: A Space Odyssey. Correct. Um, sorry about that. No, they but uh, <laughs> hope you guys have a. Merry Christmas and uh, spend some time with your loved ones and a happy holidays and uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.